We have been mooch docking here with family for a while now, but today it is finally time to go. It's been a great visit. We've had so much fun. We've accomplished so much. It was nice just to have a little downtime, a little rest of not moving as much as we have before. And if you saw our previous video, you also know why we kind of extended here longer <laughs> than expected because with that big news, we had quite a lot of plans to make. So if you didn't catch that video, go back and check it out. Today is moving day. Kevin is going to hitch up and get us ready to get out of here. We are actually not going very far today. In fact, it's pretty much just down the road. Anybody who has mooch docked or boondocked for a decent amount of time with out full hookups knows that once you are done with that, you need to take some time to take care of some things. So we're actually just headed right down the road to a county park with full hookups to do some deep cleaning and just really get ourselves ready for a couple weeks of travel coming up. So we're gonna head to that campground and we will see you there. Here's where things got a little bit ugly. I was a little bit rusty after not having moved the trailer in a few months and totally botched my first couple of attempts at backing into what should have been a pretty easy site. Also, our communication may have broken down at this point, but thankfully that rarely happens and we quickly made up. We did eventually get parked, a little to the left. We're gonna finish setting up on the inside and stick around and we'll tell you why we like doing county parks and state parks better than most other places. So, one of the reasons why we like state parks and county parks a little bit better than some of the private parks is they just seem to be kind of a better value. This one was priced really well. It's near a lot of amenities. We have full hookups and the site is quite large for what we're paying especially. So it's been nice. You know, it's been a few days since Kevin talked to you, so we've been exploring the park. Here's an example of another great county park that we really enjoyed in Idaho Falls last year. County parks in general are often overlooked, can be in great locations, and usually have nice large sites without large prices. So we are close to everything, including the interstate, so it might be a little bit loud, but at least from inside the RV, the road noise isn't really that noticeable but it is also a windy day. We kind of waited to the last minute <laughs> to do some more filming here. So sorry about some of that ambient noise, but we're gonna go on a little walk, show you some things around the park and we'll talk more. All right, let's go. going on here at the Expo Center next to the campground and not usually the sort of thing we get to see and check out when we're just camping but the kids are fascinated they're looking at all the equipment we're just gonna walk around and check it out so I guess if I needed a truck upgrade I could place a bid right the arena at the Expo Center also had an equestrian event that the kids absolutely loved. It was really neat to have all of this practically right outside our door. So there's a walking path here that we can take all around the campground. It's nice because we've been getting out and walking every day and the kids can ride their bikes safely. Lots of people have been here fishing at the lakes and there's a dog park as well. It's really nice to have a campground that you can walk around with neat things to see. So we're back at the RV. Not necessarily the best walk we've had here. It is so cold and windy. We're heading inside now where it's warm. All right, it's much better being inside. It's nice and warm. And we have accomplished everything that we set out to accomplish here with all the chores and deep cleaning and all that we wanted to do after mooch docking for so long. 
And so we are ready to hit the road tomorrow. So tomorrow we begin a multi-day drive to Death Valley. We're going to boondock along the way and show you how we find boondocking spots. And eventually we're going to get to Colorado. So we will see you tomorrow. Oh, that was... Let's try that again. Let me just talk about that. <laughs> okay. I'm rambling. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Okay. Should we go for a little walk or something?